you initially approach adapting American Gods to TV? You know, what were your initial talks like about it? The very first talk, I flew to Toronto, April 1st, 2014, and I sat in a lobby with Brian and said, American Gods, TV, would you be at all interested in show running it? And what do you think? And Brian said, I'm an enormous fan of American Gods. I bought it a long time ago. I have no idea. Um, but I do know that I love it, which actually for me was the most helpful and reassuring and hopeful thing that he could possibly have said because he didn't have fixed ideas. All he had was a love of the book and a desire to transmit his love of the book through the screen and, and make it real as a TV show. And then uh, Michael and I had worked together on the first season of Heroes. And we had been talking a, a long time about how do we get back in bed together. And uh, it was like a month after our last conversation at uh, Sugarfish in Beverly Hills <laughs> that uh, I called and I said, uh, I think I'm going to be doing American Gods. Do you want to do it with me? And uh, I he said yes. yes. <laughs> and then it was just uh, sitting down and talking about what we loved about the book and how to give the audience the same experience we had uh, reading it. And everyone's experience of reading a book is differently, so we can only give our own, but we felt good about that. We felt like that was, and then it was um, also just a bit of a priority list of just, we here are the things we have to see right away, just in case we only get one season. Mm -hmm. Have to make sure those things go in right away. Yeah, was there still constant discussion during the season, you know, about, parts of the book to include and Absolutely, have part of yeah. that. Yeah, it, and, and the making of the, the season was very informative because at a certain point a television show tells you what it wants to be and around episode three and four it, it had said, no, no, that's not what I want to be. I want to be something like episode five, which then became episode four and we listened to it and we had the time and financial support to listen and to apply what we had learned and make big decisive moves halfway through the season to try to uh, get back to the spirit of the book in a way that uh, a couple of episodes had diverted and so we cut each of them in half and sewed them together and tossed out what we felt was not working and was not speaking to the to the series and it's rare that you get that opportunity usually you just have to air the thing that you hate and we did not have to do that and that's the story of how we have eight episodes <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, so what was the biggest challenge then during the creation of the show for, for each of you? Uh, for us production-wise, um, television traditionally works by virtue of returning to familiar places, to standing sets, uh, to just locations that your crew knows how to work and that you own and can just come back to uh, amortizing your costs and without getting too boring or technical about it. We, we were creating a road show where we're constantly moving from one place to another to another. I think we had one set that we went back to for three scenes. And other than that, we were just constantly building or constantly exploring. And that just made it a much more sprawling show. It makes it beautiful and fresh every moment, but it made it physically difficult and unlike any other television show we'd ever worked on before. 